Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Brittany and I'm on a mission to hit a thousand subscribers, so make sure you click that button below. In today's video, I actually figured we would work on a new Etsy design that I actually did find on Etsy. It was a pre-digitized file I found that I went ahead and I purchased and I kind of wanted to show you guys. I've not digitized it yet. I just thought it was uh, simple and extremely cute and so I thought I'd take you guys along and um, let's go ahead and get working on that. If you are interested, then just keep watching. All right, so this is the image that I actually ended up purchasing. And as you guys can tell, it is a total of four colors. So it's gonna be pink, it's gonna be white, black, and red. So I'm actually really excited. I'm gonna be sticking on a sweater and uh, let's go ahead and put it onto the USB stick now. So I'm not really sure how many people have actually purchased an image from Etsy and have actually worked on it. So one thing I do wanna make mention about it is that obviously with Etsy, you do have an account created. So anytime that you actually end up purchasing an image, they actually do end up saving it within your profile, which is super nice. So it's always something you can refer back to. Um, I still do highly recommend still taking that image and putting it on your desktop and putting it in a folder just to have it there as a second backup. And then obviously on your USB stick as well. So it's kind of like in three individual spots. So obviously if your Etsy account ever gets hacked or your computer ever, you know, decides to stop working, it's always going to be there for you. Now, one thing is, is that when you do purchase an image, they actually, sorry, I'm shedding hair over here. They actually do end up also including, it's called a worksheet. So a worksheet is basically going to look like this. It's going to be a picture of the image as well as a description of exactly what it entails. Apparently I can't hold on to that. Um, and so for this one, it basically is just letting you know the size that you have selected. Usually with Etsy, sometimes they will offer you multiple different size options. And so with this one, it is 5.60 inches um, tall by 5.82 inches wide. It does require four colors, like I mentioned before. Now, normally my printer does print in color, so I don't know why it did it like that. It's just, it's kind of acting up. But that's all right because also another great thing about that is it doesn't make you remember like exactly what the image looks like so you can always customize it clearly i'm not going to always leave it pink but since this is going to be made um, for my shop and kind of for me as well i always um when i do make new images i typically will make them to fit me so let's just say worst case they don't sell, then at least have something I can just wear and benefit from it, kind of wear it out and about, and it kind of advertise and promotes for myself. So always remember that as well. Obviously, if it's a kid shirt, clearly that's not something I can do, but if it's an adult shirt, I'm definitely going to make sure it fits me. Um, again, four colors, it's gonna be a dark pink, a beige, a red, and a black. So in my opinion, that's super simple. Instead of doing a beige, I am just gonna do white, and that is basically going to be the hands of this image. Um, I actually ended up picking up a ash gray crew neck sweater. So hold on. All right, so this is the sweater. This is an, a, this is a very hard color to find right now. I actually ended up picking this one up in an extra large because they did not have um, a large available. So right now I do have a medium and then an extra large, but this is a color that is very hard to come by. So if I do see it, I typically just buy it um, when I am on the website placing orders for other things. This is my Gildan sweater. I always buy the Gildan 1800 crew necks or 100% cotton extremely comfortable so I do recommend these sweaters that's just my personal opinion I typically like to do quality over quantity that's just me and the way I run my business but you know do what works for you and what you guys can afford of course that's what it boils down to so um, what we're gonna do is get this image put on the computer let's go ahead pick all of our colors and then watch the magic happen and I do not know how long this is going to take so that's gonna be the fun part too. <laughs> Followed by nine by thirteen. Oh wow. All 
right, so I actually just noticed by overlooking this, they do include it, I just couldn't find it originally. The stitching size, that's a lot, um, is 34,626. I believe my Sonic one, the original Sonic I ever made was like 18 to 20,000, which I even thought was a lot. So this is going to be a lot of stitching. And so that basically just means that you are obviously going to be using a lot of thread when you are making the shirt. So of course guys, do keep that in mind when it comes to cost of, you know, pricing that image. Obviously the price of the bobbins, the thread, the sweater, uh, obviously the fees, the shipping, things like that. So all that needs to be put into consideration when you are gonna come up with that cost. Obviously how long it's taking you, things of that nature. So in my mind, I don't have a clue what I'm going to be listing, listing it for, um, but let's give it a whirl. Let's, let's see um, how long it takes and kind of go from there. So I'm excited. I, I think this image is adorable, like adorable.
our first stop because we are out of bobbin. Let's get that replaced. So I had to back up the image because if you can tell right here, I ran out of bobbin. So you can tell it did not fill in the heart. So I basically had to backtrack a little bit. Let's start again. line that snap so let's fix that so far everything has been running pretty smooth um, I did run out of bobbin one time which isn't bad we are about let's see 73% complete it. So we still have a little bit to go. Come on. All right, so normally when this does happen, I will backtrack it a little bit because commonly the machine will continue to go before it realizes that a mistake happened. So all we're gonna wanna do is just hit stop. Stop is just going to allow us to backtrack. And then obviously make sure your light is red and as long as everything is red, you can hit go again. So, here we go. All right. Guys. So here we go. It's actually really cute. There are just a few gaps that I am seeing. I don't know if that is because I shrunk the image size down because originally it was at, like I mentioned, the five point something. And I just felt like that was honestly going to be too big for the sweater. So I did drop it down to about 70%. I believe it, what it ended up coming out to be. So let's measure it and then I'll let you know because I don't know if that is what's causing the minor gapping. Honestly, it doesn't look horrible. It really doesn't. Um, maybe I'm just kind of just OCD. Um, there is just one spot where I wish it did look a little cleaner. I'm just doing some thread cleanup of course you are always going to have that and i need to pick up it well i have a lighter i just need to grab a new one okay and honestly this um mighty hoop did good it's from i mean it looks like it did a little bit of tearing here but again that is the backing and that i'm okay on i don't care if you want to tear my backing just don't tear my product this is a tear away, so that is easy. And, ooh, basketball player over here. That is the back. So, obviously, you can clean it up if you want to. I probably won't. Um, I probably won't even put a tender touch on this because typically with the sweater, you are going to put it usually over a shirt. Uh, I would only put tender touch typically on like a t shirt and always on kids clothes so that is the overall product guys i think it is absolutely adorable hold on oh my god i'm gonna burn my hair 
All right. So what do you guys think? I think the placement, honestly, is perfect. I love it. It's dead center. It's just a little off. It's about four fingers down from the neckline. Um, here's the error that I noticed. It's around the P sign right here. But, I mean, you really got to close, come close in on it. Obviously, you can see a little bit of gapping there and here. But overall, I mean, look how close I am to have to show you. Otherwise, if I'm all the way back here, like, she look cute. This is super adorable, especially for Valentine's Day coming up, or honestly, I feel like you can wear this throughout the entire year because it's nothing that's really, like, making it Valentine's, except maybe the hearts, but hearts are year-round. So I really like it. And this is on an extra large. I typically would wear a large in these, but obviously this is giving you that oversized look. So, I really like it. It did take a while. I don't know the overall time. It's 328. I'll throw up the time here on how long it actually took me to make it. So, I'll give you a rough idea. And like I said, I only had two issues. One was a bobbin, which in my opinion is fine. And then the second issue was the red did come off the um, needle twice. But that was like back to back, so I was right here. Otherwise, the image completely ran in. I was actually able to do other things while this was going. I actually got another Etsy sale, so I was preparing for that. And so yeah, everything else is great. I really hope you guys appreciate it. Of course, if you wanna buy this sweater, it will be up on my Etsy shop by the time you see this. Um, I would appreciate it. And do make sure you are subscribed if there is um, anything else I can help with or you guys wanna see, just leave comments below. I do appreciate it. Uh, I do see that the channel is growing, so welcome to the channel. And I will see you guys on my next video. <laughs> Bye everyone.